Hi, I'm John Starks uh, with the New York Knicks, and you're watching Press Pass TV. Hey everyone, welcome to Press Pass TV. I'm Andrea Fasano, and thanks for joining us. We're here in downtown Manhattan at the Sports Museum of America for the Knicks draft party, and it's going on right upstairs, so let's go in and check it out. Marketing department. Welcome to the Sports Museum of America. Thank you, Sports Museum, for having us here. Uh, pretty exciting night in uh, Nick's history. So I think everyone here excited? Yeah. yeah. We've got some good food. We've got some drinks. Uh, you got some legends in the house, including the man here to my right, Mr. Clyde Frazier. You guys have been fantastic. We know the team hasn't played up to expectations, but your support has been uh, magnificent, especially last season. I think the garden is at 90% capacity. So we're hoping tonight that we get another John Starks or Alan Houston or Walt Bridges. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Out of this draft, and uh, we can start to turn things around and bring the team back to their former grandeur uh, from the 70s. Uh, a lot of fans are asking me, do I mind doing what I do? Uh, taking pictures, signing an autograph. Uh, Starks will say this as well, and Alan Houston, no, we really appreciate it. It's nice to be remembered, and uh, tonight you have three of the most popular Knicks here with Alan, uh, John, and myself. But as you know, I'm the greatest Nick ever, and I... <laughs> hey, Clad. I'll get ready to say Clad is bold, but that, that took the cake. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. You are, well, the great, you are the greatest. Well, I, I say Willis Reed was the greatest, and Willis say Patrick is the greatest, and Patrick said he's the greatest. That's <laughs> I'm standing here with Clyde Frazier, the great Clyde Frazier, as you refer to yourself, one of the best Knicks of all time. The best Nick. The best Nick, the best Nick of all time. So what are you up to these days? Actually, I enjoy my second career as a Nick broadcaster. And in the summer, I live in St. Croix, the United States Virgin Islands. I'm into real estate down there, so, so I think I have the best of both worlds. These days with the Knicks, what do you think they're looking for in this draft this year? That's a good question. <laughs> I thought they were looking for a point guard, but now with the rumors of possibly trading David Lee, which I'm very surprised that that might happen, uh, so I really have no clue on, on what they're thinking right now because I thought they were set on going into this draft looking for a point guard. We hope they do it for the fans. I alluded to the support of the fans and how they've supported this team through a lot of adversity right now. So I think they deserve better and hopefully tonight we get a good player in this draft that's going to help us immediately and not two or three years from now. Who are you thinking the Knicks should pick in the draft? Uh, I think they got to take OJ. I don't think there's a question about that. I don't know if they're going to be able to trade up for him or if he's going to be there at the sixth pick. But I was going to say, is, he's, you know, is he still going to be available by then? Uh, it's going to be a little tough. They might have to make a couple trades. Uh, I don't know. I know this poster is the famous John Starks dunk on the Bulls. So did you get a chance to get it signed by him and speak to him a little bit? I did. John's a very nice man. He was, he was nice enough to sign it right there for me. Uh, I was 11 years old uh, when this happened. It was a defining moment of my life. Uh, I must say, up until that point, so I'm very honored to have him sign this poster. John, how are you doing, and what are you up to these days? Doing good. I'm uh, here uh, working with the Knicks and uh, supporting uh, the draft party. So what are you doing outside of the Knicks? You got anything else going on? Yeah, well, actually, I have a uh, clothing line that I do called Zipway. We have a uh, zipper technology, uh, like the breakaway pants. They use buttons. We use zippers instead of buttons, so it's Zipway. Now, what do we think about the draft this year? I know you personally weren't even drafted, so what do you think about this draft, I'm sure it's way different than even 10 years ago, so. Well, obviously it's a uh, guard-driven draft, uh, more so uh, back when I, I came out with more big man. Uh, it's funny how things kind of have changed uh, within the league, but, you know, you have some very talented young players that's coming out. Uh, you know, Michael Beasley is a guy who I really love. Uh, and, um, you know, the kid, um, O.J. Mayo, you know, a very talented uh, player, uh, Derek Rose. So you have some very talented uh, young men that's coming out. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens tonight. What do you think the Knicks should do? Draft the best available player. <laughs> I think that's what's, what's going to have to happen. Uh, you know, I know the uh, Brain Trust uh, got their eyes on a couple of guys. Hopefully they're still on the board at the time, and hopefully we can get a good putter. What are we going to get, guys? Who are we going to draft? What? 
That's an exciting night, you know, draft night. You get to see where all these young, talented, and um, amazing athletes are going to be, uh, at least for now. <laughs> Tonight's the night that a lot of dreams are coming true. So uh, for a fan, uh, a lot of hopes and dreams are hopefully going to be fulfilled. Other than supporting the Knicks, what else are you doing these days? Well... You know, my website has a lot. I mean, we're doing a lot. We really are. My foundation has two great programs where we uh, we really are trying to attack the the fatherless home issue through basketball camps and fatherly relationships with their sons and daughters and and families. Uh, we have a business education program where we're trying to enhance entrepreneurship with young adults. So we teach them how to be an entrepreneur and enhance their business. Um, been going to Asia periodically on behalf of the NBA, doing some things, um, and I'm staying in shape. Um, but the Knicks haven't picked yet, so what do you think they're going to do, and what do you think they should do? Well, it's hard to say what they're going to do because, honestly, I think the Knicks have a strong, talented core. Uh, I think they're just young. So I think leadership is one of the things that uh, – some of the leaders and some of the guys are going to have to just step up in that area. Um, but it, it never hurts to have some, uh, some guys who can defend. Um, and I think, that, I think that that's one of the things they're probably going to be looking at maybe from the guard position, um, someone who can shoot the ball. So you know, to go along with guys like Stephon Jamal Crawford um, and their inside presence. So I think that's what's going to happen. With the sixth pick in the 2008 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Danilo... Knicks just made their pick for the sixth round in the draft. What do you think of it? Sounds like people are a little disappointed. You know, the fans definitely, uh, they didn't look too happy in the, uh, in the you know, uh, in the arena. They didn't look too happy over here. No, they booed. They're not looking too happy with that F up there on TV. Um, fans, I'll say, definitely a little impatient um, because we haven't really heard of him, so we don't really know anything about him. So obviously the college players, you know, um, we've, we've seen them play, we've seen them on TV, so we've heard a lot more about them. Uh, so, you know, we'd be more comfortable with them. I thought they, needed, I thought they really needed a point guard. And uh, it looked like they were going to take Russell Westbrook or Jared Bayless. But, um, you know, hopefully this guy will be good. I hope so. Well, as you can see with the crowd reaction, it wasn't something that was pleased with. However, his action will have to speak louder than his words. So pretty much we would just have to watch him throughout us. Yes, we're going to wait and see, and we'll be there to watch. And I'll just say it's a new beginning, and we just have to press forward, and hopefully we'll make it to the playoffs. Go Knicks! Well, even though the draft isn't exactly over, the party is winding down, and a lot of the fans aren't exactly thrilled with the pick of Danilo Gallinari. However, he says he has a lot of love for New York, so let's see if in 2008, New York can try and love him back. For everyone here at Press Pass TV, I'm Andrea Fasano. Stay tuned.